This is one of my all-time favorite drills. And this is for anyone who really struggles with those tops, those fat shots. It's usually because we're getting quite narrow at the top. The arms really collapse. The club feels really, really close to you. It gets so close that there's just no room or no space for those hands and that golf club to go. So it's really difficult to get that club back down on its natural arc. For example, let's imagine the golf club travels up and down this circular arc. Golf's a circular arc sport. And what we've got to try and achieve is that club meeting that ground or reaching what we call its low point at the bottom of its arc. In this case, slightly ahead of the golf ball. But if our club gets really narrow, then unfortunately, the bottom of the arc is usually gonna be either way above, more often than not, or depending on how we react to it, way behind, especially if we hang back. So to ensure we get that good quality ground contact with that golf ball, we need to add a lovely word, a lovely feeling in our golf swing, and that's called width. I've spoken about it a little bit before, but this is a tremendous drill to help give us that width. I've got a, what we call a smash bag here. I've used it before. You can use anything. If you haven't got a smash bag at home, you can use a chair. You can use, you can push against something. Again, you don't mind hitting. You don't mind sort of pushing against to give yourself a little bit of room in the garden and get this feeling. What I want you to try and do, put your object, in this case, the smash bag, six to eight inches behind you. And what I want you to try and do, I want you to try and push that object away. And you'll notice how what's had to happen is the hands have really had to work away to really push that object away. Because if I just use my golf club to pick it up and no hands at all, you'll notice we're just scraping away. We're just scraping that smash bag away. There's no width at all. To create that width, we're trying to push that bag away to really feel like at this halfway back position here, we feel that those arms are really nice and straight. The right arm on top for right-handed golfers, left arm underneath, really getting that feeling of that lovely amount of width, which makes it a lot easier to then get that club down to the ground. It's happy days. We'll strike the golf ball beautifully solid then once we get that width and get away from that very, very narrow look push that object away, get that width, we want to lose the narrowness.